Meghan Markle heartbreak, the subtle sign Prince Harry not set on LA move. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have settled in Los Angeles following their royal withdrawal. However, one key sign suggests Harry may not be completely set on settling in the USA for good. Former actress Meghan Markle, 38, was born and raised in LA and her mother Doria Ragland, 63, still lives there. Meghan, Prince Harry and their son Archie Harrison relocated to Tinseltown from Canada last month before the borders were closed to prevent the spread of coronavirus COVID-19. While the couple outlined their wish to be partly based in North America following their royal step down, it seems Harry might not want to make the move permanent. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry bid farewell to their royal followers with a final post on their Sussex Royal Instagram on March 31st. As of midnight on March 31st the couple ceased to be senior royals and no longer represent the crown. Meghan and Harry have now entered a 12-month trial period in which they will aim to carve out a new life for themselves outside of the royal bubble. The couple no longer receive money from the crown and will work to become financially independent. Their situation will be reviewed by the Queen in a year's time. However, for now they are settled in Los Angeles where they will spend Easter weekend and are understood to be house hunting in Malibu. While Meghan may be glad to be back in her hometown it has been reported Prince Harry has decided against applying for a green card or U.S. citizenship in the near future. According to The Times, Harry is thinking twice about a permanent move to the USA. The paper reports Meghan and Harry's USA plans have been paused indefinitely amid the coronavirus pandemic. A royal insider confirmed, the Duke has not made an application for dual citizenship and I don't think he will apply for a green card at any point. Before the coronavirus pandemic disrupted lives across the globe, Meghan and Harry were expected to announce their new charitable venture shortly after stepping down. However, the goodbye message on Instagram suggested they plan to keep a low profile in the coming months as they wait out the coronavirus crisis in L.A. Part of the post read, what's most important right now is the health and well-being of everyone across the globe and finding solutions for the many issues that have presented themselves as a result of this pandemic. As we all find the part we are to play in this global shift and changing of habits, we are focusing this new chapter to understand how we can best contribute. While you may not see us here, the work continues. Since then Meghan and Harry have confirmed the name of their new organization, Archie Will after The Telegraph found they had applied to trademark the name in the USA. A statement from the Sussex is about Archie Will read, Like you, our focus is on supporting efforts to tackle the global COVID-19 pandemic but faced with this information coming to light, we felt compelled to share the story of how this came to be. Before Sussex Royal, came the idea of Arch, the Greek word meaning source of action. We connected to this concept for the charitable organization we hoped to build one day, and it became the inspiration for our son's name. They added, to do something of meaning, to do something that matters. Arch Ewell is a name that combines an ancient word for strength and action, and another that evokes the deep resources we each must draw upon. <music>